begin with uh, Sway, uh, uh, you know, how did that whole relationship even start? With the Scarface, Slim Thug, Bun B, Pimp C. And the list goes on. We're going to add him to it, Don Kiki. We're going to add Timo to it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk. No, but... Um, so how did you end up linking with uh, Sway? Uh, uh, you know, how did that your whole relationship even start? With the Scarface, Slim Thug, Bun B, Pimp C. And the list goes on. We're going to add him to it, Don Kiki. We're going to add Timo to it. So, um... Probably back in 2017, South by Southwest. Okay. You know, Sway, I always come down and, and you know, they host their show. And uh, mutual friends I had from my college days, you know, they still in the Austin area. And I was like, hey, Sway going to be here. So I went, met him, rap for him, and we just done built that relationship from there. Just just networking, man. Putting myself in the right place at the right time. I'm a product of the 80s, dopest product in the 80s. Uh, whipping that white bitch, feel like I'm driving Mrs. Daisy. What do you, what what are some of the things, like, like over the years, did you, you you know, confide in him on any of the business moves sometime? Like, man, what do you think about this? Nah, or, man. It didn't I, get that heavy. I actually, uh, you know, Sway, Sway is a, is a purist. He a rap purist, man. Uh, he done seen it all. He didn't interview everybody. He didn't. He didn't been around the biggest names in the game. So, you know, even though I was rapping for him and I was nice, I wanted to make sure my resume made sense for me to go on his platform and and to represent for the state. Yeah. Not just this is a good rapping ass nigga. This is a good rapping ass nigga that done worked his way up to be able to have a conversation with me and and, and display his skill set on my platform. So that's really what it was all about. I could have went on sway. You know, yeah, a bunch of years ago, but let me make it make sense, big yeah, brother. Yeah, and you and you did that. I I, I really like I say I love Sway Sway show and cool love it love the uh, the whole you know the way he 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 holds it down for the culture. Yeah, yeah, he so that's that, real. Man. And he and he and, he, and he's uh, to me um, one of those guys. I put him on a pedestal when it come down to to, to lyrics and and really recognizing yeah. the craft. Yeah, and he loved it. He yeah, really loved, and he'll craft. tell you if you suck. Yeah, yeah. Don't mind. Yeah, yeah. No, he don't mind at all. <laughs> don't come up here with that bullshit, man. I'ma tell you, but it's the first thing he say right before you rap. So you already got that in your head. Yeah. If you, you know, if you not up for the occasion, you already got man. It's sway, and he's saying, if you suck, I'ma tell you. So if you ain't ready to, you know, snap when them lights on, it, 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 it could be tough, man. Be tough. Man, it could be real it could tough. Be tough man. man, I was ready for it. So what's the first project you put together? So the first project I put together was called I Got the Juice. Um, really? Yeah, based off the movie, Juice. Um, and how long ago was this? And how old were you when you really started taking it serious? Man, when I started taking music serious, I probably was about 22. Okay. And, and, so, and so this this project I made when I was about 25. Okay, so. My first project. So that's, that it lets you know from the time yeah. I decided to rap for mm -hmm. it how long. But I always been an observer and a studier. So I used to be in a rap group uh, back home and. um we had these these Waco ciphers. They had the ciphers, so the whole city would tune into these ciphers. And I'd kill every cipher, and I just felt like I wasn't getting the respect I deserved. And so one day I was sitting in my sister's house, and Juice came on the TV. I seen it a million times, but for some reason that day, I was just like, man, I'm finna kill all these niggas, just like Tupac, my friends included. Love it. So I made a mixtape, 17 tracks, just me, just displaying lyricism, but just going at everybody. Wow! Everybody, whole city. Anybody did it, got did it, did it. friends too? How was how was it received? <laughs> <laughs> Niggas was mad. Yeah, they was, but what can you do about it? Because you can't rap me at this point. Like I didn't, I didn't. Got Nobody to didn't like. Okay, I'm gonna beef with you and lyrically beef with you because of it. No, no that would be dumb. Think. It was. It, so what I did was um, the movie kind of played like a soundtrack. So I would take clips from the movie, and the clips would relate to whatever the song I was making. And then I was just being super lyrical on top of that. So I was doing a lot of stuff at one time, and, and people were so ready to hear a project from me. The, the people that didn't know what I was doing just loved to hear the raps. But, the, you know, the rappers, they was like, man, fuck him. Did you have visual for that? You didn't do a video? Nah, I, didn't do it. I did maybe one, but I didn't do too many visuals. You produced it yourself? Nah, it was, so I, I took instrumental. Like, it was like a mixtape. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I had like a couple um, a couple regular instrumentals that, that, that I got from producers, but re the rest of it was instrumental. Ain't nobody else this? No, nah, they won't fuck they that. Come back out of all right of now. them that you did, all of, out of all those 17, give me the hardest verse out of all of that right now. Uh, Bishop's outro. Uh, they say being lyrical don't make a good rapper. It's just because you rap good don't make you lyrical. Said that I'd be a beast if I ever give them both. But they don't feel me, though. I just need you to see my thought process. You simply be amazed at the levels that my mind catch. I'm anti I'm anti weed, so getting high there's no need hurt your head trying to think like me. I'm blunt force trauma with no blunt object. See what I mean? 
Damn, that shit, that shit go back, man. That shit, that shit go back. That shit go back. This is a long time ago. That's a long time ago, man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.